Jumbo, fellow adventurers, Mike Dooley, time for a spiritual tune-up. Thank you, everyone, for the insightful comments, sharing, patience, and tolerance displayed yesterday when we spoke uh, about vaccinations, coronavirus, etc. All right, so let's do a reset. Let's change uh, the temperature setting here and go to something a little more, uh, a little less uh, divisive. Uh, which doesn't mean don't go to those places. Uh, I'm glad I went there. Uh, and thanks again for your indulgence. But um, let's talk about something else. Okay, balancing acceptance with deliberate manifesting. Last month, um, April 17th, I think, I talked about surrender versus giving up. Okay, and this talk is to supplement that talk. Surrendering to the beauty of what is. Let me fully read the question to you. Mike, Ram Dass was a social activist, yet always claiming things were the way they should be. Ah, personally, how do we balance acceptance, accepting God's beautiful world, with our own desires for deliberate creation? And how do we balance least resistance with affecting outcomes in the world, I mean, live and let live, how do we balance least resistance and not sound as if we have no empathy or compassion? Pretty intellectual question if you ask me, and I appreciate it very much. I'll see if I can live up to it. Uh, several things going on right here, uh, and one of which is the presumption that these are mutually exclusive ideas. Uh, acceptance, surrender, setting goals and living deliberately, creating consciously. These are not mutually exclusive when you apply them to their proper areas. For example, you surely have read or heard of the serenity prayer. Let me read it to you. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. So there are some things to surrender to, to accept, like the past, like the present, and like how your dreams will come true in the future. But there's a variable here missing, and that is your dreams in the future. When it comes to your dreams in the future, there's no such thing as acceptance. There's only recognition because you being of God, by God, pure God, have this natural bubbling over of desire. It's this beautiful gift that keeps you going. Don't put off your happiness for the satiation of desire. That's the problem with desire. Um, and that's why it's, that's why often Eastern religions try to stomp out desire because it's the root of unhappiness because people are postponing their happiness for the fruition of their desire. But it's quite possible to be happy in the journey because you're accepting the beautiful world you live in. There's things you want to change. You create a new picture here. You march falling in love and in love with the world and suddenly, lo and behold, because of your marching and not deviating on your dream, then the physical world around you will mirror what you were earlier just thinking about. There's another dynamic here as well. And again, I've, I've touched on this in some earlier tune-ups, but the idea of God's desire versus your own. Oh, go with God. God knows. God's got it in control. Let go. Let God. Oh, well, who are you? But the eyes and the ears of God Almighty come alive in the dream of life. You're not here to be a couch potato. You're not here just to be a fly on the wall. My gosh, you are God's greatest choice to be alive now. You are who God most, most wanted to be of all infinite possibilities in every realm, dimension, plane, planet, above ground, underground, flying through the air. You are who God most wanted to be. And it didn't, it, she, what, didn't want to be you so that you could just humbly be in awe of the rest of God. I mean, God's got that covered, okay? God's in love with God. Um, that's a quote I got recently out of the Hermetica, a really cool book by Gandhi and Freck. Um, but, but God wanted to come alive in this 
these sacred jungles of time and space, these illusionary jungles that seem so real, that seem to be on autopilot, so that God could experience her creation from within. So the baton has been passed, although that too implies there's a God there and a God here. It's like, it's all one. You are God waking up inside the dream, inside the heart of God, so that from here you can decide to get it on and go left, go right, um, live in the northern hemisphere, live in the southern hemisphere, practice jujitsu, jump out of perfectly good airplanes, read a book, listen to music, meditate on the grass, go snee sneeing, skiing in the snow. You decide that. That's your job. That's your responsibility. And to ensure you would do it, you are perpetually and always uplifted and infused, if you will, excuse the implication to space, which is illusionary. You are infused with desire so that you will always be in the state of perpetual unending growth and bliss and glory. So to sit on the sidelines and just be like, God's got it under control. You know, I'm just going to be a good little doobie and put the needs of others before my own. That was not the point. Although even that is your own selfish desire. So go for it. All right. Even the desire to sit on the sidelines and to totally surrender is conscious creation. Do you see the irony here? There's no such thing as abdication. You can abdicate this all day long, but your abdication of desire, of yearning, of growth, of glory, is your desire. It is your dream. It is your creation, your co-creation. So play whatever word games you want, but I would recommend honoring the beat of the drummer within. It's God given. It's God itself. It's God come alive as you are to explore this bastion of perfection floating through the cosmos. No contradiction between acceptance of the past and the present and of how your dreams will come true versus choosing your dreams and holding that vision in your head and then dancing towards it with baby steps and on the way falling in love, being in love, enjoying the journey. Oh, wow. Thanks so much for the awesome questions. Post them below today and they'll be my talking point tomorrow or sometime very soon in the near future. There's a little bit of time left to, to scoop up the free masterclass on faster manifesting. The link is below on Facebook. Swipe up to my bio on Instagram. While you swipe up on my bio and Instagram, notice the membership, um, charities, and all the other fun things that we're doing. Love to see more of you. And until, until we meet again, happy Friday early. Happy Friday. I can't wait. I have no idea what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Maybe you do. Post your question below. Thanks for the, the sharing, the stars, the hearts. Uh, it makes all of this happen. Um, Winnie, Casey, Sheila, Jean, Cedric. All right. Mar Marcia. Or is it Marsha? And Nora, all of you on Facebook and so many more. Thank you. Vedalavita. Vedalavita. That's a name worth saying. Right. Renee. Animal Lake Reiki Lady. Life Swim. Glad you're all here on Instagram as well. Hasta pronto, amigos. Cheers. <laughs>